I got it recording. Now, you may feel some lag or something on internet, then please let me know. Probably you shouldn't because my backup uh, router is running right now. My main router has got some problem, but I think it should be probably okay. Okay, so first of all, come to our playground. AWS is our playground. Maybe you can call it playground or battleground or whatever, but this is where we will land most of the time, okay? Okay, so this is what our, uh, was our assignment. I saw that many of you did first assignment. Is it true? Like, is everyone okay with first assignment? Did you do it? Good job, very good, okay? Perfect. Then I think let's talk to the second assignment. So second assignment is in fact a multi-stack as you can see from the diagram. EC2 is in the core of the service. EC2 is your main server. But this EC2 is going to run multiple services. Okay. So one of the service that it is going to run is Apache. That is the web server itself. That web server will be running some other services that will be application services that is your php and wordpress okay and this all is running on your ubuntu system okay and then for database it is showing you mysql but actually there is open source version of mysql that is mariadb that we are going to use okay mariadb is very beautiful database good thing is it is free it is open source in fact this was one of my projects in my last to last to last company in DBS. So they were like paying like millions to um, Oracle database. Okay. Oracle has proprietary database. It is damn costly. So they hired a bunch of smart engineers and they said, you know what? We are going to migrate away from Oracle to MariaDB. Your job is to back up the database, get the backup of everything ensure our banking does not go down for even for major there shouldn't be a major outage one or two hour down is okay but you shift the whole device to MariaDB, and you know it felt a very big task i was not the only one they were like a big team doing it but everyone did it you know and finally when the bank moved from Oracle to MariaDB, they say they were like saving millions every month you know so MariaDB is very beautiful database. That is what we are going to use. Okay, so I think let's start with uh, the guide that we had. So this is the guide. It was not a complete guide probably, I believe, but it was ready to get you started. So let's start the server. As always, I clean the servers. If there is weekend or coming, or if I'm not going to use, I clean the servers. Awesome. So normally class wordpress or lamp okay lamp is lamp stack okay what is lamp is standing for can someone tell what is lamp is it anyone lamp? want to take a guess at the l in yeah. lamp it's a it's an acronym yeah linux linux yep linux apache Mm -hmm. um, yep. My so, SQL, MySQL, or I guess MariaDB in this case, but. Mm -hmm. Yep, traditionally MySQL and, and MySQL and MariaDB are both um, synonymous. Like what's called, uh, mm -hmm. they're different okay. technologies, but they're very similar. They're both relational databases, meaning that the main concept is tables and rows. Uh, and, and for those of you, if you haven't seen MySQL before, uh, uh, the short version would be if you sort of imagine an Excel spreadsheet, but on steroids <laughs> is, is sort of a very short background description of, of, of a relational database like, like, like MySQL. I, will, I think we'll talk a little bit about them a bit, a bit further mm -hmm. on in the class. Perfect. Okay, so I have gotten my server configurations ready quickly. This is the name. This is the OS I have selected. Okay. Uh, this was uh, which OS? Oh, yeah. Oh, I was going to make a mistake. Yeah. All the commands were given on, on YAM. Okay. Okay. Make sure you're using Amazon Linux. 
Let's show things you have done by now many times. So this is like these two micro, this is the key name. I am not creating new security group. I'm using the already created one. Okay, that's all. I'm going to launch the instance. Sometimes I look on this and I see it is still pending. Pending, I say the world is still so slow. The server should start the moment I click a start. It takes approximately five seconds to 10 seconds before it comes. But probably we should have it. Cool. Okay, so I will get this key. I will get here. Okay, I have gotten inside the server. All right, so this is kind of the first step updating. All right, so this has got updated. Now I'm going to install PHP and all. Cool. Okay, now I am going to install a MongoDB server. This, I know. Okay, this is like a starting HTTPD. That is your Apache. This has enabled. Is everyone clear with what I'm doing? Or I'm like bypassing anything. Everything is okay. We covered everything last class. Good job. Okay, this was for your demonstration. So I'm not going to do it. Okay. We are now directly jumping to WordPress. Okay. And actually, Chandra, is there a good confirmation step uh, that the, the students could do once HTTP, once the Apache web server has been started? Good question. If it is started, you open your IP address. You will see the test page working. That's awesome. All right. Okay, so Apache is working fine. Now we are going to start MariaDB. So this will bring up our database. Our database should be running now. Now, how will we knowing we know it? So, if you kind kind of make a request, if you check like MySQL right now, it should work. But we will probably first set up the database. So this is called like secure installation. This is a command. It will depend database to database. Enter the current password. There is no password right now. Set password. I'm going to set password. Okay. New password. I'm giving it a root only. RWT root. Normally, you would give like more difficult password. Remove anonymous users. If you want, you can remove. Disallow remote login. You can give no. Can someone tell me what is disallow root login remotely? Can someone make a guess what is it? Remote and login. I'm gonna just sort of nudge the class right now. I I I would bet a dollar that someone either kind of knows or so, can guess or has a thought. Close. I think that's close. Chandra. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think I missed uh, the last response. Uh, who was it? It was from Akeem, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. he was saying it doesn't mean that SSH is not allowed. Yeah, it is pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. So thing is that, you know, if you want to log in into this database as root user, you must come onto the server. Okay. You cannot go inside this server from your database client, from your computer, or from somewhere else. You should do SSH and then you can access this database. Okay. Got it. Right. So SSH 
SSH is allowed, but if you want to be the root user, you have to SSH and Sure. and then use sudo. Okay, so MySQL installation is done, okay? Now, uh, though PHP is not needed, okay? PHP my admin, what is PHP my admin? It is written here. Has anyone used it before? PHP my admin is like a web client for your database that you can see the database visually on your browser, on your computer, okay? Don't worry, we will come to it later as well. Is everyone okay with this right now? I have done just the basic installation right now. Okay, cool. Now what I'm going to do is, okay, um, this is like installing PHP my admin. I can skip PHP my admin installation. Okay. If I do not want PHP my admin, I can skip this step. Okay. Now, what we need, what we need is we need to create uh, this. We need to either go on this link. Okay. So we need to get WordPress. Yep, it is WordPress. WordPress. Okay. We need to get WordPress. We need to install WordPress. So for this, we need to find in your browser, URL, URL, site. Okay, never mind. I'll search WordPress and installation. Okay, so this is the test .gip. Okay, this is. Um, it works for me following that download and unzip the WordPress installation package on that page you were just on. Here, here only? I did it on Saturday, uh, up near the top, I think. WordPress to install the containers. But there should be a header that says install WordPress. Okay. On that page. Install. Okay, let me see. I think I've got a link for you, Chandra, in the Zoom chat. I think it's the same page. It's the same page? Is it? Okay, so I think, you know, I think more or less what you do is you just go on the server and you get this file. Okay. Once you have gotten the file, then you unzip it. Okay. Unzip latest.jip so this is kind of getting the zip file and then unzipping it wordpress order comes with some pre-installed themes okay so we should be having WordPress now, okay? Now, here I think this is where you follow these steps. As such, I know these steps, so I can kind of show you CD WordPress. Here, do you see this WP config sample? Yeah, yeah, I got this. Is it. So you, okay, so what we did so far is we did the LAMP installation on our server, right? After LAMP installation, what I did is, I got this, let me make it bigger. I got this zip file, okay? 
So we have gotten the WordPress installation package on our server. Now WordPress installation requires that you set up this. Okay, you copy this configuration file, which is sample configuration, and you make it the real configuration. Okay, so this is the command. This is the reason I gave you this link that you can follow this. Okay, so let's go here to WordPress. Do you see this config.sample? This is the sample configuration file. Okay. Now what we will do is we will copy this. Do you see this? And save this into another file. WP config.php. Okay. Now this is where we will be doing some more stuff. So what we will be doing is if you see VI, everyone knows what is VI? Um, we briefly talked about VI and Vim. We also talked about Nano. So folks, you can also use Nano for this if you want. Just uh, any sort of command line based text editor. Yep, yep, yep. You can use any of them, okay? So if you open this, you will see here, what this is asking you? This is asking you that to set up WordPress, I need to know the database name. Okay. And then it needs database user. It needs database password. Okay. So this is what we will do now. Okay. We are going to close this file. Okay. And we will connect to our database. Okay. How do you connect to database? Can someone tell me? MySQL, we had given this command. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, dash you. Oh, what was that a key? Yep, it, it, it got to. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 So I have gotten inside the database server now. So if you show here, so data base, it will show you the database that we have right now. These are the default databases that it comes with. Okay. So if we want, we can create databases here. Okay. So for example, we can create, create database. Let's give it name WordPress. Okay, now some of you may not be knowing MySQL. Okay, so MySQL is like the structured query language. SQL is a structured query language which helps you to interact with your database. So, for example, that day you saw some of this. You see, this is your MySQL queries. Now, if you do not know this, you don't have to really worry. But I would highly recommend you to kind of take a short tutorial or YouTube video on what is MySQL. Okay. So this is, in fact, this is what we are doing right now. Okay. We need to create WordPress database. We need to create WordPress user. We need to create WordPress password. How do we do this? So this is where we have the commands. Do you see this MySQL query is given? So this is saying create user WordPress at localhost identified by your password. Okay. So I will copy this and okay. any any question? My God. Oh, you got got oh, what was the mistake? Uh oh, what happened? Oh, is that me? Oops, hello. Oh, 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 okay. So there is a lag on my server, it seems, because of my patchy server internet. So I'm going to type it here. 
WordPress. And here I'm going to give it WordPress. Okay. So uh, create. Oh, oh, I need to connect to MySQL again. My. Seems like everyone is having internet issues right now. It's a little weird. Is it? Um, you. Uh, okay, just give me a second. Let me switch my Wi-Fi. Okay, I will probably switch my Yeah, I, I, I think it. Um, am audible? Hello. Um, am I audible? You uh, are, Chandra. You know, I don't think it's... It, I, which, unless I'm totally missing something, makes me wonder if there's, like, if Zoom or something is having an issue. Because even if one of us... Even you know you when screen sharing it was having an issue, it, it shouldn't. That would just affect the lab. But like for me, I know like I'm being told like my internet is slow, and I'm like kind of being dropped out of Zoom and stuff. So I wonder if I wonder if there's like a, a, a internet problem right now. Yeah, it could be. Okay, I think hopefully uh, we will be able to uh, go through. Okay, so okay, my system is working right now. Okay, okay, okay. So what yeah. I'm doing is I have gone inside database server. Now I'm going to create user. Oh, sorry. Minus well, minus u, minus oh, minus u, username minus p. Okay. Now I'm going to create user with name and password as given here. Oh, 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 no, no. <laughs> Fight by. Okay, so I have finally I created an a user. Okay, now I'm going to create a password. I already created a password for this. So user is created. Database I already created. Okay, where did I create database? You can see here. Let me show data. Okay, that seems to be a real problem. Okay, so we have created WordPress database. We created user. Now we are going to grant all privileges on WordPress database to this WordPress user. Okay, what is this doing? So I will explain you. On database WordPress, to user WordPress, and this is, I did. 
Okay. So what are the steps we have done so far? We have gotten inside the database. We created a database with name WordPress. We created a user. Now we have given that user permission on this database. Okay. You say grant all privileges on WordPress database to this user. Okay. Following with me. Cool. Now plus privileges. What are the what is plus privileges? Um, quick question. Go ahead. So what is the difference between the grant all privileges and when you created the um user on the database? Good. Or this like the same command? No, they are not same commands. If you see, this is create user. I'm creating the user. Grant all privileges. I'm giving this user access to this database. Isn't it? You see, privileges on this database. Without permission, you are just a user, right? If you join um, army camp, you know, you get ID. But till your ID does not have access to a particular facility, you cannot go inside the facility, isn't it? Having ID is one, one step. Getting the access is one step, right? Yeah. Cool. So this is your plus privileges. What is plus privileges? This make, uh, makes those changes, okay? Plus is the database to pick all those changes. Now we will exit from the database. Okay, now if we go inside our WordPress, okay, wp-config.php, we should be having all of this. What? We should be having a database. We should be having password. We should be having the username. So let's give all of those here. I'm editing this file now. What is the database name? It was WordPress. What is the username? It was WordPress. Normally, you will be having a lot of users. You will be creating difficult passwords. Okay, database host and everything else will remain the same. Okay, now if I save, I have created configuration inside my WordPress for um, my database. Okay, now there is a one step which I'm not very sure about, uh, which is where do we keep this WordPress installation files? Oh yeah, this is what I was saying. We need to copy these files, okay? Inside this folder, okay? If you want to run WordPress at your document room, copy the content of the WordPress installation as follows, okay? All right. So, Okay, so, so far we have done all the configurations and everything, okay? Now we are going to, okay, this is very bad. Okay, let me use this one. Sorry guys, I will get my internet fixed, I hopefully. Zoom life. Ah. This is giving me a tough time today, okay? I was not expecting this to happen, but... Tyler, that's cool what you just threw in the chat there about um, flash privilege. Yeah. Okay.
Yeah, I found it very interesting because like when you PSQL for like SQLite or Postgres, um, when you execute, it executes uh, right away as far as I know. So I found it interesting uh, in this situation. Uh, yes, okay. So now let's see what we were doing so far. Okay, my internet is doing like very poor today. So, and I'm not very sure. Okay, hopefully they should be fine. Okay, so now if I go to where we would have slash uh, HTML. Um, we made a mistake. This is what it was saying. Uh, just a second. Is that step right? So CV minus R. Okay. Okay. So this worked. Okay. So what happened is. Okay, one of the step, I think I will repeat to show you again, that was, let's see what are the history, what I have done so far. Is everyone okay with this, that I went inside the database, I created user, I created database, I flows the privileges, is everyone okay with that so far? Yes. Cool. Okay. Um, okay. So now what is the next step? Next step is we update those configuration changes in our WP config file. Okay. Where is the WP config file? This was here. Okay. VI WP config dot PHP. I went there and I updated the database user and password. Everyone followed with me? Good. Now, what is the final step? Final step is if you want to see anything on your Apache server, you will have to copy those files inside the Apache folder. What is Apache folder? Where www.html. Do you remember this? No? Exactly. So if you have seen yesterday, what were we doing here? We were going inside this folder. You see? We removed the old file and we copied the new files here of, from the game file. So the same thing we are doing here. We have this WordPress files. Do you see? We will copy these WordPress files inside where www. Okay. So this is what I did in this command. Initially, I did not use sudo. It failed because this was a server folder. So I have given sudo and I copied the files. I went inside the file folder. So let's go there where www html you will see everything here if you go and do develop quick, quick question go ahead so when you have um sudo copy um which recursive um wordpress um with the um asterisk up there means um you want to copy all the files in there is that is that correct that's correct this is coming from your linux classes star means everything which is matching that pattern, right? Cool. Okay. 
perfect now we have done, we did this now if you open your server ip address you will not see this page but you will see wordpress page isn't it because wordpress is installed now i will give my site my a title a title of a title of it um, chandra devops portfolio i told you day one right all of you will be making your own website your own portfolio website this is your step in that direction okay let's give it name i will give it name instructor chandra okay let's give it password same email uh let's give chandra at now it is very important to give the correct email because if you lose your password this is where wordpress will send the reset password so chandra at code platoon.org okay install wordpress now this should go and install wordpress in the sense it will be going inside your database configuring some of the things creating some tables it will do all of this for us okay this would normally take a bit of time okay it got done okay now i can log in with the password with the username i should be able to see my wordpress site is everyone familiar with wordpress what is wordpress so wordpress is the most powerful content management system in the world it is most popular it powers 60 percent of the website on internet okay so let's see now it may be running slow because our server is slow it is baby server it has just one gb of them even your computer would be having eight gigabytes or 12 or four at least four gigabytes of ram right our server has very small ram so this may be running slow but this will come okay now if i open uh, database it should be this much slow but yeah it is slow Yeah. Hey, Chandra. Uh, yes. So my internet is running very pure. And sorry for this, guys. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I have gotten what I wanted to show you. So this is the page, which is your WordPress main page. Okay. Can everyone see this WordPress page? now if i visit this is my this is chandra's blog it is it has nothing right now okay but i can go and i can write a post i can write a post okay okay so i can write a post about my first server on aws okay you can write today i launched i launched first server it was a great experience whatever okay you click publish and it should get published you see my first server on aws i launched my first server guys I can go here, I can add some images, I can do whatever I want. Okay, so for example, I could kind of copy content from here. Okay, and I could write into the web server. I could write kind of a launch of. Oh, sorry, I have a quick question. Go ahead. So what's the data for these WordPress pages being, it's just stored on the EC2 instances? 
right now yes your database is inside the ec2 why because we installed our database on ec2 server okay yeah so this is all in with us maria db or, or mysql but the, that database that we set up on the ec2 instance exactly yes yes yeah and that's by the way, they're like, you'll hear the term content management system. A lot of web frameworks that like offer lots of customizability uh, work this way because that, that lets you be flexible because everything's in the database as opposed to being hard coded somewhere in, in the code. True, true, true. Okay, so. Okay, hello everyone. Let me write first blog on how to launch server on EC2. Okay, I wrote this first blog. Do you see? I wrote this beautiful blog on how to launch EC2 server. So, okay. So this is kind of the overall way how it does. Now, good thing is, do you know who, who powers cloud code cartoon website? It is running on WordPress. Am I correct, Adam, or not? Because I don't know. I'm just making a guess. You are, yes, you <laughs> are correct. And in fact, so making a better website and talking to the people who set it up on WordPress for us is one of our uh, medium to long-term projects. But yeah, this is all running on WordPress. I am pretty sure it is hosted on like WordPress's own hosting, as to your point in the chat, Skylar, about yeah. like Chandra, what Chandra just walked us through was self-hosting a WordPress instance, right? Where you downloaded the WordPress where and set everything up. Uh, WordPress, the company also offers hosting as a service and that's where it makes a lot of its money. Um, and I'm 90% sure that's what Code Platoon is doing. Because the whole point of that is then you don't need someone more technical to be going into servers to do the things we just did. Exactly. But the good thing is, Corporate now has a smart engineers, isn't it? Who can now do this? And yeah. So if let's say you really yeah. Speech, yeah. you have eight, nine folks to help you now. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, and I just want to mention, I'm, I'm so sorry to interrupt Chandra. Um, I just want to mention what we just learned here and what, what Chandra just walked us through. While this is sort of like very basic isn't the right word, but fundamental for, for DevOps, like we're going to be learning a lot more technologies that do a lot of fancy stuff. However, for an incredibly huge amount of people and companies out there simply knowing someone who knows how to do what we just did is incredibly valuable because there are so many people out there that would love to have their own WordPress set up, right? Um, so there, there's a whole world of, of, of people out there that, that actually can get a lot of value out of these these kinds of skills. Um, so I just I just wanted to 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 mention to to mention that. Exactly. Yes. So uh, I think what Adam was saying is very true. So you know, if you go and find jobs, just if you can launch and maintain a WordPress site, you have a good opportunity of job. In fact, okay because there is like a lot of companies needing this. So this is where you log in, okay? You can log in onto your portal, kind of. And, you know, you can now add image, you can add media, you can add portfolio, okay? You can do a lot of, so if anyone is more interested in this, let me know, I will kind of teach you more WordPress if you want. But this was kind of the hosting part, which I covered for you, okay? Now, if you can kind of hack, you know, Code Platoon also runs on WordPress. So this is the place where the Code Platoon login is. 
Uh, I think Adam won't be happy yeah. with me showing this, but I don't know. But and, he knows the password. <laughs> pretty sure we have like a development WordPress site on a, <laughs> uh, floating around on some URL, and and you might be able to figure that one out. Chandra, I don't remember the pattern off the top <laughs> of my head, but That's I'm pretty I sure. Don't <laughs> I don't want to breach, <laughs> make any breach <laughs> on the website. <laughs> yeah, I, let's let's just say that I hope um, our 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 Coplutian WordPress site is properly secured. Um, However, uh, I have been very careful not to uh, take on that responsibility, so I actually don't know. And and good news is there's there's nothing. It, it probably is because actually one of the benefits of WordPress is it, it does yeah. do an awful lot of security for you. True, true. But yeah, you're not now going to be careful about security because a lot of people know what is going behind the scene. <laughs> anyway, I'm kidding. All right, guys. So this was kind of a walkthrough. Hopefully all of you will be able to kind of follow with that. Um, sorry for the choppy internet. It, God. Yes, and if anyone does, okay. Yeah, I know. If anyone does hack the code platoon WordPress, uh, you will get extra credit. <laughs> we did, in fact. Let me tell you one of this story. Yeah, we were like on the edge, but no one actually did. Finally, in one of my last class, they got inside the Saudi Arabian government website. They got their database IP and everything because their database was not not secured their ip and everything was open their port was open so you could like kind of do a lot of things with that information there are like a lot of tools probably we will learn some of them but not actually all of them but there are a lot of things that you can learn and do yeah anyway i think uh, 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 by the way a quick kind of uh, advice here normally is hide your wordpress login url don't make it WP admin. Everyone in the world knows that WordPress WP login is on WP login. I did with like slash X, Y, Z. I'm going this, that, whatever, so that it remains hidden. Because you first need to find the endpoint, then only you can log in, right? Just randomize the login URL. No one will be able to log in then, at least. That is kind of a very quick kind of advice I would kind of give for free in such situation. <laughs> All right, okay, everyone. Um, so this was kind of a short, but choppy, but complete walkthrough. Uh, now I will stop this recording so that this walkthrough. Uh, before, you, before you start,